Hey guys, it's Flyer77, and I'm here with a quick external overview of the Thrain and Thrain Explorer 300 satellite modem running on the Inmarsat BGAN service. Um, here on the top, we have the handle, which works as a stand. It's not the antenna, obviously, um, and, and the LCD display, which is used for inputting all your data and settings, etc., and the power button. Over here we have a compass, which you need to use to line it up with the satellite. Um, on the front, which is the most important thing of all, you have the satellite transceiver. This is how you can communicate with the satellite. Down on the bottom, we have the battery. You can take it out by pushing this latch over to the side. And then you have to pull here. It's sort of hard. Whoops. Here we go. And I was surprised at how small the battery is. Um, it's pretty tiny for something that you'd think would use so much electricity, you know, the, uh, for the microwave signals that it has to send out. Um, and there you can see, probably see the uh, SIM card. There it is. Uh, there's a little latch you move over and you can pop the SIM card out. Um, and then you have on the right side, if you're looking at the front, we have here the uh, phone jack right in here ethernet on top of that the USB cable to connect it to your computers down here you need a special uh, I think it's a hexagonal screwdriver to open that and then up top you have the uh, power DC in and on the back you have a DC out plug which can, uh, is for your antenna, and then here's the antenna plug, but for some reason it's covered in plastic. I don't know what that has to do with. So anyways, uh, that's uh, just a quick view at the Thrain and Thrain Explorer 300, and these run at about $2,300. So um, that's it for today. Uh, I'm Far 77 and I'll see you with my next video.